a huge Minecraft update just got released with tons of new blocks, mobs, items and even a whole new dimension. That's the 2024 April Fools update, Poisonous Potato update. And as always, Minecraft has gone above and beyond with adding so many cool things that I can't wait to show you. So let's start right here on the new Poisonous Potato main screen and let's generate a new single player world. When you spawn in the world, you have a chest. In here you can find a lot of potatoes, but also poisonous potatoes. But one of them is the poisonous potato plant. It has some glasses and a weird nose. You can take this plant and put it above your head. Now you have the poisonous potato talking to you. You can jump to continue getting the guidance and the poisonous potato will guide you through this whole new update. I look ridiculous and the potato says some pretty funny stuff along the way. Eventually he will guide you into a pedestal and when you click the poisonous potato on here, it will open a portal. And once you go through that portal, you get to the potato dimension. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole story with this poisonous potato guiding us. Instead, I'm gonna show you around this new dimension, show all the blocks, mobs and cool features. And if you want, you can do the guided tour yourself. In the potato dimension, we got five new biomes, like the fields that has potatoes everywhere and can even have potato villages. Hash, that's just a really orange biome. Then the corruption biome, which is one of my favorites because it has the new potato trees. Arboretum, that is just a mix of all kinds of trees. And finally wasteland biome, that has ancient debris everywhere and completely green water, that is poisonous. Then the mobs, many of them have unique textures in the potato dimension and they all look like potatoes. There is a poisonous potato zombie that constantly says potato. But we also have four completely new mobs, like the potato, which is a poisonous potato flying around like a bat. Then a toxifin slab that behaves like a guardian but looks like a slab. They can also stack on top of each other like slabs. Another new mob is the black whale slabs. They are basically a bigger version of the toxifin slabs. Looking absolutely huge. And the final new mob is called the mega spot. He's the new boss mob in this dimension. I'm gonna pause this for a moment because I want you to realize that a boss mob is just a mega scaled potato. Just a potato. How ridiculous is that? Anyway. The mega spot can be found in the bastion rem I'm sorry, in the new structure called the Colosseum. When fighting with the mega spot, you will get different mobs that you need to kill before you can continue fighting with the boss mob itself. There are waves which get harder and harder and the mega spot gets smaller and smaller. For example in the wave 7, you get 7 piglin brutes to fight with. Then you have 8 casts spawning in this small area. Look how ridiculous that is. Then you have 9 black whale slabs spawning in. He's already so small. But now in the final round you will have 10 giants spawning in. Just look at these things. And imagine if you had to fight all of them in survival. Once you finish those and kill the mega spot, you will get the new item called the potatish. With this tool you can make portals to go back to the overworld. But we are not going back to the overworld, because there is so much more to show in this potato dimension. Like this new tool called the lashing potato. This is used for traveling around like spider-man. And it makes your traveling so much more fun. You definitely have to try this. And use an elytra if you don't want to die. Then we have the potato peeler. This increases your damage to the potato mobs, so they are easier to kill. And while you kill the potato mobs, you get the potato peels. But with the peeler, you can also peel the ground to get even more potato peels. Peeling different blocks will get you different color peels. But how are these useful? You can craft them into all sorts of different blocks depending on the color, or make armor 
poisonous potato chest plate or make the poisonous potatoes. When you equip the chest plate, there is a funny thing happening. Once you start walking, you can actually hear how the player is eating the chest plate. That's because it's made out of potatoes, and once you get hungry, the player starts eating the chest plate. So the durability goes down really quick, and my chest plate is already gone. Another cool thing is that when your friend is wearing a potato chest plate, you can peel it off. That's really funny. When you throw a poisonous potato in the lava pool, you get back a hot potato, and this hurts you while you are holding it. Yo, yo Robin, grab this, grab this. That's the hot potato. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And honestly, there are so many things you can do together in this new snapshot. If you don't have a server yet to play on, then our hosting site Wise Hosting is the perfect solution. Most importantly, we already have the new potato snapshot ready to install, and it only takes a single click. It is just so easy. Join the best Minecraft hosting site Wise Hosting right now, because with my special code POTATO, you can get 25% discount on your first month. Thank you Wise Hosting, and now I have another cool item. That is the poisonous potato hammer. This hammer has knockback 10 and I can confirm that it is really powerful. Then I have to show you this. We got the frying pan in Minecraft. We can use this to bake potato peels or potatoes. This gets me baked potatoes and hash browns. I guess now you can build a McDonald's in Minecraft. But there are even more types of potatoes. By using the poisonous potato cutter, you can take your poisonous potatoes and turn them into potato slices or potato sticks. That's even more McDonald's stuff. Remember that the fletching tables had no use. Well, that's not the case anymore. Now you can use them and just look at that beautiful interface. But to even do something here, you first need to find the resin ores. Then mine them by using a hoe and you will get some toxic resins. Once you have your toxic resins, that's not all. You also need one feather, and you need to be really lucky by getting the correct toxic resin that this fletching table needs. There are tons of variants, and it is super hard to get. But if you do get the matching one that this thing requires, you will get the amber gem. If you dedicate your life to this, you could get a lot of amber gems, and you can finally craft a block of amber. It's basically like gold, but just a bit more orange. The villagers used amber gems as their main currency. But that's not it with the cool blocks. We also got the potato refinery. With this old rusty looking furnace, you can make potato oil. Just input potatoes, input glass bottles and coal. Here you go, potato oil. But what can you do with this? Take any item and put it to the right, and put the potato oil to the left, and you will get a lubricated potato, or any item you put here. If I take my regular potato and drop it, nothing happens. But if I take my lubricated potato and drop it, it keeps on sliding. And you can keep on lubricating one item over and over again. As you can see, this potato is 10 times lubricated. If I drop the potato now, it's gonna keep on sliding, and sliding, and sliding, and sliding even more. And if you want, you can even lubricate your boots. So when you stop, you keep on sliding. In the crafting table, when you take one poisonous potato and eight gold blocks, you can craft the enchanted golden poisonous potato. So the night chapel is back. But when you eat it, you get some really weird effects. Poison, absorption, luck and bad luck. So I don't recommend eating this. You might have also noticed these white islands floating around everywhere. These are actually made out of a new block called the Flotado. What's impressive about these blocks is that you can place them in me there. This is so weird, but so cool at the same time. Using the flotators, you can craft the flotator, which can be placed down and activated with redstone. 
then it starts moving, like a rocket, and it's moving really smoothly. Not only can you push one block, you can also push many blocks using just a single flotator. Use multiple flotators to create a high speed train that I can't even catch. The April Fools update also gave us 7 new paintings. Let me place all of them out so you can see what they look like. And these are the paintings, all featuring a poisonous potato. I have to say that they do look pretty cool. There's also stuff like Peak Brain, Potato Battery, Not a Trident, but just a dent, or a poisonous potato headpiece that actually I have been wearing. What a crazy update. I covered the basics, but there is so much more to explore and try once you play it yourself. So definitely get the server from wisehosting.com. Install the potato update and go exploring with a friend. Remember, code potato to get 25% off. Thanks for watching and see ya!